web development is evolving and the question here arises where should beginner web developers start in 2022 so they will learn the in demand skills to find job opportunities also you may be wondering has the flow of web development changed is it different from before what technologies should i use which programming language is best for web development etc so hello guys and welcome back my name is masood and in this video i will share the complete road map to web development in 2022 and after watching this video you will be having a solid knowledge about web development also i will guide you with the best path that you should follow in order to become a successful web developer and note that this path that i am going to show you is not the only one because there are thousands of technologies that you can explore but the road map that i am going to show you in this video is the most preferable and the most in demand these days so let's get started basically Basically in web development we have three paths to consider number 1 you can become a front end developer number 2 you can become a back end developer and number 3 you can become a full stack developer the front end developer just focuses on front end of the website such as the ui and everything that you see on the screen including the functionalities such as add to cart menus animations etc whereas the back end developer do server side coding that includes creating a APIs such as the API for users, blogs or messages, connecting to database and creating authentications and users etc. And finally the full stack developer is the one who manages all or you can say that who can do both front end and back end development. Now let's see how you can become a successful web developer in 2022. The road map to web development. So starting off you should first of all have to focus on HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now here HTML is the markup language that is used to create the skeleton of websites whereas CSS is used to put skin on it I mean to color and beautify the websites and finally JavaScript provides the brain in websites JavaScript is the client side scripting language that is used to add functionalities to the website like what happen if user click on the button what if the user submits the form data adding events and dynamic behavior now once you learn all of these technologies then you are able to deep dive into web development and with my personal experience i am telling you that they don't gonna need more than a month to learn html css and javascript even if you are a complete beginner now once you come at this point you can design a beautiful static web application that might consisting of the following features such as menus animations pages and forms with validations after that you can learn a javascript framework that could help you a lot with front end there are three frameworks that are widely popular angular view and react now react is the technology that you should learn for front end because it is the most popular out there and basically react is a javascript library that allows you to create super fast and dynamic front end applications now a framework makes your life easier you can use the functionalities provided by these frameworks to create your application for example you can use routing components that allows you to break the site into smaller parts and focus on each part separately and this makes the work easier and clean also a framework makes it easy to share the data across the application in react you have context api and redux to store and share the data and there are a bunch of other functionalities that framework provides which if you want to implement with javascript can get you hours or even days to achieve so now i hope you know what a framework is and what is the importance of a framework now for the designing you can learn bootstrap this allows you to use the pre-written css classes in your application this is just needed for the designing part of your website and also allows you to implement some small functionalities like creating navigation and forms etc now if you follow these steps and up to this stage you can call yourself a front end developer and believe me to become a front end developer it doesn't take you more than 3 months even if you don't have any experience in web development before now if you want to go 
further and learn backend development also then you should go ahead and first of all learn a backend or server side language because as I told you earlier that JavaScript is a client side scripting language now in order to learn backend you should learn a server side scripting language and hopefully you can learn node.js node.js is basically running JavaScript on the server so you have one language that is used in front end as well as in backend and this is amazing now with node.js you can do pretty much anything you can do with JavaScript plus you can create APIs database connections and queries network calls rest APIs and much much more and using Express.js it even makes it very easy to work with Node.js. Express.js is just a package that helps you to write less code in Node.js. So after learning Node.js you should also need to learn Express.js. So with only one language you can now do frontend and backend very easily. And this makes word javascript so much popular. Now for database I would recommend MongoDB. It is no SQL database where the data is stored in the form of objects. And it it is so fast and extremely in demand. After that you need to connect MongoDB with your application using Node.js and for this you would be using a node packager called as mongoose which allows you to connect mongodb with your application in order to get the functionalities such as storing data, creating data, updating data and deleting the data. Now after following all these steps you would come to a stage where you can proudly mention yourself as a full stack web developer who can do both front end plus back end and who can also work with database and this stack is called the MERN stack web development where M stands for MongoDB, E for Express, R for React and N for Node.js and it is the most in demand web development stack these days. I hope you find this video helpful. For more videos like this make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon next to it. And if you want to support this channel you can do it on Patreon with as little amount as $2. The link to my Patreon page is given in the description. You could also get the source code of my upcoming videos and other exclusive content. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next time.